Welcome back to the We Are Change talk show. It's Wednesday, the 11th of April. We have a great show lined up for you today. We're going to play a few clips. But first off, I'd like to say we take vaccinations very seriously here at We Are Change. And I enjoy a joke just as much as the next guy. But when it comes down to vaccinating, we find that that is no laughing matter. Let's run the clip. So what was your name, sorry? My name's Jeff. My name's Lewis, nice to meet you, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Now, Jeff, are you here to protest anti-vax or are you from the Matrix? I'm here to raise education and bring attention to people that are malinformed and believe vaccines are safe when there's no actual evidence to prove that they're safe or effective. So you've taken the red pill, I can, I assume. <laughs> Was there anything else that you would like to say? Once you give up your liberty for security, what you end up with is tyranny. And what their government is proposing is medical tyranny at its finest. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Neo. Appreciate it. So this all took place at the No Jab, No Pay rally, folks, and caught the attention of Aussie Man Reviews, who wrote a favourable article regarding the speech I delivered because I feel so strongly that vaccinations should be voluntary and not forced. We have the article on screen right now. of vaccinations is very serious and it's far from anything to joke at. Next we have a video call from Smoke and Joe. And uh, this chemtrail is being bombarded with that. Mainstream media pushing propaganda. Uh, we can't let this government of criminals uh, win. And it's people such as yourself you know, that are helping wake people up. I hope you uh, aren't persuaded by people their negative tirades against you, that's, uh, that's absurd. And there's a powerful statement that was once said as well, uh, you might receive hate for telling the truth, but at the end of the day, it's still the truth. That's exactly right, my man. Even if you're a minority of one, the truth is still the truth, and the truth shall set us free. That's exactly right. Uh, that was uh, wonderful. And that was a big achievement that you got with your DJing, uh, what was the longest duration, and nobody's ever come close to that. No, 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 that record has been broken. Oh, has it? I, I held it for about three years, but that record has been broken. I was the first ever human being to DJ for seven days straight. I broke the Guinness World Record for the longest DJ set in history, and I did that to steal myself for what I'm doing right now, because what we're doing in saving the world from this evil system that's gone back thousands of years to ancient Egypt and Babylon and Sumer and maybe beyond that, it's almost impossible. No human has ever done that before. So that's why I broke that Guinness World Record to do something that no human has ever done before. So anytime I feel like things are overwhelming, I snap myself out of it and say that we really can do anything. You can achieve uh, what you, some people might think is impossible if you put your mind to it. It just goes to show uh, the mental strength that you have. And what I admire too is that you're using uh, your musical talents to also educate and wake people up because uh, there's a lot of uh, teenagers and young people, they really uh, look up and admire uh, artists such as yourself and they're very influential. And when you speak uh, about wars and tyrannical governments, that's who they listen to. So I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm in uh, a lot of awe that you're able to have that sort of uh, reach large audiences. You should feel proud of that. I really appreciate that, Jeff. And before uh, we go, I'd like to make you a revolutionary warrior, if you would like, man. I'd like to give you a set of tags and uh, strengthen the bond that we have because I really appreciate you giving me this opportunity and all the great work you're doing. That would be an honour. And uh, I hope you know the uh, admiration is reciprocated as well. Uh, the work that the Save the World Army is doing you know, we need more people to join groups and start groups and uh, educate their loved ones and uh, attend rallies, events, circulate petitions, contact politicians, do everything in your power to uh, try and stop these uh, horrible laws that are affecting so many lives.
of what we're doing here at We Are Change and hopefully work together with a lot of these events. And I look forward to listening to some of your music as well. Uh, I'm a big fan. Thank you so much, brother. I'm so glad to have you aboard. All of the revolutionary warriors in the stream are welcoming you, welcoming you as we speak. And most definitely, man, we have to come together and unite all of our groups, uniting for the same, the same cause, which is saving the world from this evil system. And once again, much love to everybody at We Are Change. And I look forward to seeing you guys at more events in the future and working more closely with you. Thank you very much. Good luck with your court case and everything you're involved in. Uh, look up uh, Smoke and Joe Mikhail on YouTube. A lot of uh, good entertainment, insightful I will. Likewise. Thank you very much, Jeff. Bless you, brother. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. We will be victorious. Woo! Oh, yeah. Well, that was a complete success. Booyah! That's how you do it. Build it and they will come. When you do good things, people hear and then they want to help. And that was so fantastic. Thank you so much for all of you warriors uh, and all of your support. I'll go back to reading your comments because my, well, I'll start reading your comments because my computer shut down and a lot of comments popped off the screen. So I do apologize. Someone said the meek shall inherit the earth. Brandon Stroud, great to see you, brother. Revolutionary warrior and revolutionary... Oh, man, so many comments. Excuse me. Rebel924 says one voice now becoming many. Yes, brother. Hey, Roxy. Rogue Wombat says when a wolf speaks, the pack listens. Anthony says guns. Stephen said Satan does not exist, etc., etc. J-Dog, revolutionary, Sergeant 830. Seven, leading Cherry Squad out of Port Macquarie, New South Wales, Australia. He said, when a lion roars, the hyenas flee. Brandon said, I was warned by Facebook today that I would be banned if I kept sharing certain things. I got that message from Facebook soon after I shared some stuff on Agenda 21 and depopulation. To hear more comments, visit the Save the World Army on Facebook. Next, we have a video call from Deborah Camacho in Queensland. Thank you for joining me, Deborah. You have been through quite a battle with your daughter, Bella. Can you please share the story with us? Yeah, hi, Jeff. Um, yes, it's been quite a journey. Um, three or four years now, we've been um, accessing medicinal cannabis um, by the black market here in Australia. Yes. Um, so, um, you know, we've had Along the way, um, some very good gains for her health. There's been a lot of progress um, made. The seizures have been reduced. Oh, definitely. The seizures were reduced. We've had up to 10 weeks seizure-free at some points. Very good um, news. We were able to gain a lot in speech and her cognition. And, um, you know, she's just much a, a much happier girl. Um, I was able to wean the pharmaceuticals, she was on three at the time of starting, and I was able to wean them down to two to very low levels mm -hmm. prior to um, January this year, um, okay. where she was hospitalised. And um, due to certain, you know, several factors, um, mm -hmm. the oils have given her a beautiful quality of life, um, but I feel that she may have needed more CBD. Um, I'm, and that kind of was proven, I guess, in the fact that she qualified for Epidiolex, the trials. And, and there's been some gains that. made with that medicine. Definitely, yeah. She's had um, six months um, of no daytime seizures, so she's had n not one daytime seizure. In That's quite a dramatic years. improvement. Definitely. It's amazing. Um, Bella has never gone without a daytime seizure for any longer than that you, you know, a few times a week, week. Um, always like triggered training. by, high, you know, so like excitement or play or, yeah. um, you know, exercise, swimming. So with whole plant um, cannabis and the epidiolex, 
that's where you've received the most results. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, much better than pharmaceuticals. Any day. Um, now, you've had some legal problems regarding this matter. Can you divulge what happened in court? Yes, I can. Um, I was raided in July um, and I had two oils of anticatalaruses and or two yeah. that I had kept in my possession um, because I was scared that epidiolates would work because mm -hmm. You will understand about how a whole plant works, and yeah. you know, um, you know, you need the, the compounds to engage the endocannabinoid system. And Correct, that's right. I, yeah, I was scared about starting epidiolates, but I was sort of understandably really so. Yeah, she was having nocturnal seizures every night, and yeah. so we tried the epidiolates, and it gave us twelve nights of seizure freedom. From the nocturnals but then they came back and yeah. I just wanted to hold on to those oils in case you know yes. um, because it, I've used them for three years and mm -hmm. I just didn't want to you know it was a medicine um, but anyway um, the police turned up and four of them with guns uh, dreadful and you would have been an emotional wreck at um, this point I was scared I thought they were lost actually because I had two visits from them in the past Regarding to cannabis. You're trying to stay within the guidelines of the medical system, but at the same time, you have to resort to these black market oils. Definitely. Well, yeah, over the three years we used it, I mean, I, tried, I asked the doctor if we could use it, and he kind of gave me an unofficial okay, and mm -hmm. also wrote to the Premier and asked them, and now I've been out, out very public about it, um, and I feel it's their duty of care to know that she was on it. Absolutely. Um, and they should be helpful as well, and uh, parents shouldn't be reported to any government bodies when they're trying to do the right thing. And as long as there's results and the child isn't in harm, that's the main factor that should be taken into consideration. And yeah. when there's improvements, that's what should be really focused on. Definitely. And um, I guess it was difficult for him to be able to have the discussion got to court um, and the police prosecutor ended up crying halfway through reading out my charges. Wow. And yeah, yeah. For a police prosecutor to break down, you must have really triggered their emotions. Yeah, as it turns out, I think I found out she's um, an epilepsy mum too. And right. Mm. So she left the room and another prosecutor took over and read the charges. And because that would have been a conflict of interest. Possibly, maybe. But she was uh, very emotional and just said she couldn't proceed. Right. Uh, I guess, you know, police, you know, they're people and they've got their life issues. We were in a bit of a rough spot with where we were and, um, you know, they weren't allowing you was in the hospital anyway. Yeah, this is what the problem the parents are facing. That Even threatening legal action if people were administering oils and tinctures. Oh, yeah, threatened with arrest if I didn't remove them from the hospital grounds. Mm -hmm. um, and also the schools. I mean, anybody can report you at any point. Yeah. Um, so it's very stressful. Um, it's Bella now, so if you want to say goodbye, here's my daughter. Hi, Bella. How are you? Just <laughs> showing me a picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Very good. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Thank All right. you. Thank you very much for sharing that story with us, Deborah. I wish you both the best and um, take care. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. I hope you join me next week for another episode of the We Are Changed talk show, where we expose corruption one episode at a time. <laughs>